This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm gonna show you my soft tissue injury and then show you how you can treat your dog or cat's injury at home. So here's the scoop and the inspiration for today's video. Recently, I was doing something, I think you can see down here with this. It's a soccer ball. I play, somewhat attempt to play soccer in a men's soccer league. Just so happens that it's winter here where I live. We play indoors. It used to be an old hockey arena. So it's a small little confined space, 40 something year old man, lots of body contact. I had the ball, somebody wasn't happy with it. He gave me a boot with the back of that. That's the cleats. Now what you gotta do, you gotta see the injury. And I'm just gonna lift up my pants. No, it's not one of those kinds of videos. But just give you a little bit of a better close up so you can actually see what happened here. Here's me. If you look close, you can see the leg there. It's all swollen down here at the base of my foot. Um, this muscle just adjacent to the tibia. You can see the big bruise there. So I got a big boot there. So then what happened is that muscle belly just swelled right within the capsule of itself. Um, there is somewhat of a name called compartmental syndrome, where you actually can have this acute swelling within the muscle itself, and it's confined to the white tissue around it, to the fascia. So you get this sudden, sudden swelling. So I mean, as the night progressed, it got prog progressively firmer and firmer, and it probably doubled up in size. So it, was, I mean, it almost looked like a small egg was completely sticking out, you know, from the side of this leg. So the big principle and the thing to remember anytime you're trying to treat, you know, a sudden injury, it's a, it's a sudden onset, is the acronym is RICE, R-I-C-E. So it's rest, ice, compression, and elevate. Especially when you're dealing with any type of injury on the lower limb. Of all the different things we're going to talk about in terms of pills and anti-inflammatories and topical things, by far and away, the real big, big principle is take down that acute inflammation and the, the best way to do that more than anything else is with the use of ice. And unfortunately, even though I knew that, I mean, I, I put some ice on it, but I wasn't really, you know, that sort of thoughtful around it. And I put it on for maybe 30 minutes. I just got myself a loose, a really thin, thin tea towel. And I grabbed what I could out of the freezer because I didn't have ice cubes chopped up. So this is like a frozen bag of, there it is, frozen bag of corn. It doesn't matter what you have, right? Your dog suddenly injures himself. He's really limping on his back leg, for instance. So wrap it with something so you're, so you're not gonna damage the, the tissue or the skin. And then I just put it right on top of that leg. More than anything else, that's probably more important. And in part of the reason I'm doing the video is because the following morning, I mean, it was so sore, I couldn't even walk on the leg. I'm like, jeepers. The ankle's starting to turn a bit grayish where it's also bruised, blood is pooling down there. So that I probably should get looked at. In the interim, there was almost a three hour wait from when I went to the hospital until I actually got seen. But while I was waiting, it meant one, elevating my foot and the staff were great in terms of supplying me with you know, fresh ice twice. So in terms of doing that, my leg was 100% different from entering the hospital at 6.30 to leaving around 9.30. I mean, the biggest therapeutic benefit was icing it and elevating it. And that's part, so that's partly what's inspired this video. It was so, so helpful. So for any of our animals, and I think about it in practice, how very few times, yes, I talked about icing it, there's an injury, but how, very, how seldom that I think actually does happen or happen. So don't, my point here is one, if you're gonna take one thing away from it, there's a sudden injury, Look at icing it. The next one I did, and I actually use a type of compression sock, so I'm not gonna show you that I use there, but I will show you something that you could be using with your pets. This is called Vet Wrap. So that's that stretchable clang. You can get it at any pharmacy now. You can get it at all your, any pet, pet supply store, obviously at a veterinary clinic. And it puts moderate amount of pressure. And you can see how I just wrap myself on that wound. So you can put it a moderate amount of pressure right over top of the, the injury. So there's that principle of compression. 
So it's doing something similar to where we're elevating the leg and we're helping the natural flow. We're icing it to decrease ongoing inflammation as well too. It's, it's preventing that skin from expanding even further, causing additional tissue damage. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to you know, contain the injury to where it is, not have it to spread out and damage additional tissue. So there it is, a simple thing of compression. A couple of additional things that I, that I did take. Initially, I mean, it was super painful, especially when it's 11 o'clock at night, I can't sleep. Yes, I took a conventional anti-inflammatory. So I, I went and um, popped, you know, 400 milligrams of ibuprofen. And first of all, never give ibuprofen to your dogs. They can't tolerate it at all. Obviously never to any, any, any of you if you're a cat owner is watching it. Um, if you are to give it a conventional anti-inflammatory, something that you could give at home, um, one that I've discussed in the past is the use of aspirin, and I've got additional videos on that, so you can refer back to that looking at dose. When we're looking at an aspirin dose, we're looking at one 325 milligram per 40 to 50 pounds of body weight given to a maximum of every 12 hours. Um, and that assumes when your dog isn't on any other type of anti-inflammatory, they're not on a, a steroid such as prednisone, um, they have, they're adequately hydrated, and they have good liver and kidney function. As far as a real safe holistic option, which I also took, um, this is a homeopathic. This one is called Rust Hox. So it's great for soft tissue injuries and inflammation. And when we're looking, when I'm calculating approximate doses, we're looking at one 30C capsule per 10 to 20 pounds of body weight. And then when there's an acute injury, you can be taking those every, you know, one to two hours. Um, so I did take the Rust Hox. I just didn't find it was being beneficial. So I took it when I first got home. I took it an hour later. And then it's 11 o'clock at night. It's not responding. I can't sleep. So then I took the anti-inflammatory. But for some, some pets really will respond and some people really respond well. And even with these acute injuries with this homeopathic Rust Hox. Then lastly, this one topical cream I put on, which I was quite impressed. I didn't put it on actually till the next morning. Um, I woke up soup and I couldn't even walk. And I didn't want to take any additional anti-inflammatory just based on one, just seeing the kind of bruising and bleeding that was going on. Because we know those non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can affect, affect clotting time. So this is called Comfrey. So it's a herb that I've talked about in the past. And I actually got a salve. So it's made with beet, it's, so it's Comfrey, and they've combined it with beeswax. And it's a great one. Anytime you've got a surface or a surface skin injury, we've got um, soft tissue injury and swelling. And I really like the salve. So I just lathered up that wound like I'm doing here. And I really felt whether it was in my head or not, but within 15 minutes, I felt so much better. So I've been using that topically. So my mainstay of treatment since then has been resting it, elevating it, putting on the ice, you know, really did a lot of help for that. Um, and then using this comfrey topically. Thank you for watching this edition of Venery Secrets on how I'm treating my soft tissue injury and how can you can treat your dog or cat's soft tissue injury at home. If you've yet to do so, go ahead and click that link above. You could subscribe to my channel. And then you can go ahead and click that link in the box below. And I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your dogs and cats at home with my top natural remedies.